Um, so how do we access that? Well, you, you, we all have, it's interesting that human beings uh, can love something, whether it's their dog or their passion or their guns, whatever it is. But somehow we are the last or other people, and we are the last in line to love ourselves. So we have love in us. We are alive, right? That means we're expanding in some way because we're, we're it's, uh, as soon as we stop expanding, we'll, we'll probably keel over pretty quickly. Um, so usually it's just an invitation to feel the love that's in you, but don't necessarily aim it towards yourself yet. You don't, it's the, your ego is going to say, no, people say you got to love yourself. Well, that's a terrible thing to say to somebody. You got to, uh, I don't know how. So in that world, it's just, I used to do, I've done a group meditations when I've talked about this, about just having everybody feel the words, I love you to yourself. Very interesting. People's reaction to that is, eh, that's embarrassing or that's stupid. Mm -hmm. Well, that embarrassment is exactly the right feeling. Mm -hmm. You're vulnerable now. And when I've read it, and, and while I've, I've led this before, the reaction at that point is people get calm, people, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, all, of, uh, all internal experiences out there. But it's not until I ask them to meditate on the words, I don't know how to love myself. That's when people start crying. Wow. And it's that in that confessing that you don't know, the tears that come up are believe are the compassion you have for yourself. And that's love. So it's very, it's, um, it's like uh, there's something about admitting your obstacle, admitting your resistance that takes the resistance it's not like you don't know how to love yourself. You just didn't know how to get past the resistance. I had a guy who was working with a guy in front of the models at the workshop. He was looking sad. She said, you know, she was eye gazing and she goes, yeah, you seem sad. He goes, no, I'm fine. I said, well, just say the words, I feel sad. And he said the words feel sad and he, he got a little, little choked up, but he, you know, held it together. And then I asked him to say to her, I don't want to feel sad. And he couldn't get halfway through the sentence without bursting into tears. Wow. So he finally felt his sadness and was able to shed it and let, it, let a lot of it go. Tried for five minutes. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's when he showed up. That's when the woman, the motto, was observing him said, Oh, now I can feel you. You're a damn robot before. I can feel it now. I'm interested in you. This this vulnerability is what connects us as human beings. <laughs>